Okay, so we're going to look at three problems in this video. Uh, we're going to find the equation of the curve given uh, the gradient function in each case and a point that the curve passes through. So let's have a look at number one. Uh, we're given that dy by dx is equal to 8x cubed minus 2. So we're going to integrate uh, to find the equation of the curve. So we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. The minus 2 becomes minus 2x, and I have that constant of integration c. Let's tidy that up. So the 8 over 4 simplifies to just 2. OK, so here is my general solution of the curve. And I'm told that it passes through minus 1, minus 5. So I'm going to substitute in minus 1, minus 5 into that. So I'm going to have minus 5 is equal to 2 lots of minus 1 to the 4. Take away 2 lots of minus 1 plus c. OK, so the right-hand side of my equation is 2 lots of 1, so 2. And then we've got minus 2 times minus 1, which is 2 again. So 2 plus 2, which is 4. So c must be minus 9. So therefore, y equals 2x to the 4 minus 2x minus 9. That is the equation of the curve that I want. OK. All right, let's have a look at number 2 dy by dx is equal to 17, take away 8x to the 9. So, integrating, we're going to have 17x. Then we're going to add 1 to the power of the 8x to the 9, so 8x to the 10, divided by 10, plus the c constant of integration. Let's tidy that up. So y equals 17x minus, well, 8 tenths counts, uh, simplifies to 4 fifths, x to the 10 plus c. So I want to substitute in the 2, 0 here. So the y is 0. The x is 2, so 17 lots of 2. Take away 4 fifths uh, times 2 to the 10 plus c. Right, so we've got 17 times 2. Take away 4 fifths of 2 to the power of 10. So that's minus 3, 9, 2, 6 over 5 plus C. So C is 3, 9, 2, 6 over 5. So therefore, the equation of my curve is Y equals 17X minus 4 fifths X to the 10 uh, plus 3,926 divided by 5. Not a particularly nice number doesn't matter, OK? That is my equation. All right, so last but not least, this one dy by dx equals 4x minus 3 over x cubed. So it's not in the format that I can currently integrate. So what I want you to think about is splitting this up into two different fractions. We've got the 4x over x cubed and the 4 and the minus 3 over x cubed. So 4x over x cubed take away 3 over x cubed. OK, now if we simplify that, 4x over x cubed, x over x cubed, x to the 1 divided by x cubed is x to the minus 2. So 4x to the minus 2. And then we've got minus 3 over x cubed, which is minus 3x to the minus 3. So that is now ready for me to integrate as each of the pieces in the form ax to the n. So I'm going to add 1 to the power. So 4x to the minus 1 over minus 1. And then I'm going to add 1 to the power here. So I get minus 2 over minus 2 plus c. OK. All right, let's just get myself a little bit of space here. OK, so I want to simplify that. I want to make it a little bit nicer to work with. So 4 over minus 1 is minus 4. So minus 4x to the minus 1. And then I've got minus 3 divided by minus 2. So plus 3 halves x to the minus 2 plus c. Now I know that uh, this curve passes through 4, 7. 
So I'm going to substitute in 4, 7. So y is 7. And we have minus 4 times 4 to the minus 1 plus 3 halves times, not minus 4, just 4 to the minus 2 plus c. Okay. So, minus 4 times 4 to the minus 1 um, plus 3 halves times 4 to the minus 2. And that's equal to minus 29 over 32. So if I add 29 over 32 to both sides, C is 253 over 32. So the particular solution for this is Y equals minus 4X to the minus 1 plus 3 halves X to the minus 2 plus 253 over 32. And that is the particular solution for number three.